Hey guys, uh, my name's Max. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a really simple head rig um, in Adobe After Effects using a really cool plugin called Joysticks and Sliders. Um, the link will be in the description for this plugin if you want to check it out yourself. Cool, so what I'm going to get you to do now is just to hop into Adobe Illustrator and start off with a really simple character. Um, feel free to download this file from the description if you want to follow along, but feel free to use your own character. Um, this is the really simple one that I created earlier. Uh, one thing to note is always name your layers. Um, I like to label mine by body parts, but it just makes your life a whole lot easier once you hop into After Effects. So now what we're going to do is we're going to import our shapes into After Effects. I use a plugin called Overlord to do this, which makes it really easy for me to just click push to After Effects. Um, if you don't have Overlord, um, you can follow some tutorials online on how to import your Illustrator files into After Effects. So what you're going to want to do is to highlight all your layers and just to tab P, which will bring up your position and just hit a uh, keyframe on that one and do the same for scale there. So what we're doing there is we're just telling After Effects that we want to create keyframes for our position and scale effect. These keyframes are going to be what's known as our origin keyframes. And the next step is to move exactly one frame forward and start creating the keyframes for our right side view. So what you can do is you can start to manipulate your character there um, by squishing the eyes, moving them over to the right side of the character. Basically, you're just trying to create uh, what the furthest to the right perspective of this character would be. This is also a good time to go ahead and open up the joysticks and sliders uh, plugin panel. Uh, we're going to need this because we're going to be using the origin tool that you can see on the panel to help us uh, copy and paste the origin keyframes onto a new keyframe just to speed up our process when creating the rest of the different views for the character. Cool. So what you can go ahead and do is highlight all of your layers there and make sure you're on the third frame and press the origin button in the plugin panel there. What you're going to notice it's going to do is it's going to paste all of those origin keyframes onto that third frame. So from here you can start to create the next view which is going to be your left view and then you're just going to repeat this process for your two other views which is going to be up and down. By the end of this process you should have five keyframes for every part of the character's body that show the straight view, the right view, left view, up and down. Once you've got all of these uh, set up in place, what you can go ahead and do is just highlight all of your layers, head up to the joysticks and sliders panel and hit create joystick. It's going to be the little uh, sort of square icon. Go ahead and name your joystick. Um, I like to call it a head joystick. And there we go, you've created your joystick. Um, what you might need to do is turn off snapping in After Effects just so that the controller head can move freely. Um, once you've turned that off, you'll see that your controller moves freely and you've got yourself a head rig. Uh, I've just taken the liberty of uh, changing the background so I can see the controller a bit better there and just moving it out of the way so it's not on top of the character. And that is your finished head rig. To keyframe the movements of the head, it's really easy. Just open up the transform properties of the head controller and just like you normally would, just keyframe some position points. Uh, just keyframe it moving from one side of the box to the other side of the box. This would mimic uh, looking from one direction to the other direction. Uh, like you normally would, you can add easing to these keyframes. Um, but that is the way to do it. Just add keyframes for positions of moving the cube to different spaces within the controller and you'll have the head moving. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I tried to keep it as simple as possible. I'm going to be making more tutorials in the future. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll uh, be sure to respond to them or make a follow up video for you guys.